Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. And we're back on the Scorched Earth map. And this time we've got a guide to the best PvE locations on Scorched Earth. Now Scorched Earth is the least popular map, I would say in my opinion. Probably being that it only has the one boss and three caves. Nonetheless, we're going to be defeating it as we've recently ascended from the island map. And if we're doing things in the correct order, the next map should be Scorched Earth. So without further ado, here are my favourite locations on Scorched Earth. Okay, so the first location I want to talk about is the Green Obelisk. Not a hard location to find, but one of the reasons I bring it up is that water is going to be something we need to take into account anywhere we're going to be building on this map. And this is one of the few areas in the game that has a really nice lagoon of blue water. So if you're going to be setting up shop, the Green Obelisk is definitely a picturesque location. There's plenty of flat surface here, and we're sat nestled in among these three mountains. Now anywhere around the Green Obelisk, in my opinion, is a great place to build. It has the views, but it also has the resources. Clearly it has the most rich in abundance metal resources and it is the only area on the map that has the little oil vein nodes as well. So the Green Obelisk is definitely strategically a really good place to set up if you're thinking about beating this map on PvE. Moving on to my second location, I've picked somewhere in the Deaf Sands. Now there is a few wells around this area, here are the coordinates, and this is I think my favourite one. It is quite close to the Dragon Mew and you can go and gather eggs quite easily from this location. If that's something you're making a play for on this map and you want to be around where the dragons are, then I think you're just far enough back. Of course, there's a little source of water here just at this well, and I think it is my favourite out of the ones amongst the sea. You may have to deal with deaf worms out here, and there is a little bit of metal and crystal in the area, but again, because of the dragons, it will make it difficult to farm. Setting up here, main focus would be to gather eggs. Now, in my playthrough, I don't know whether I'll be taking dragons in to face the manticore. It would mean a lot of hunting for eggs. But nonetheless, I do expect to tame up a dragon. At least one of each. And being next to this little crater crack here will be quite handy as we can come in and grab as many eggs as we need. We're going to need the eggs for kibble as well, so that's something else to bear in mind. And my next choice of location would be at the Twin Peaks. Now, there are plenty of nice spots to set up along this gully that runs through the centre of the Scorched Earth map, but I think this little point here with the two peaks and the waterfall is by far my favourite. Here's the coordinates, if I just bring up the map as well. You can see that we're not far away from some mountains, we're in fact quite close to some crystal, and out towards the east of this position we've also got the green obelisk and there is some rich metal resources not far from this position. You could also set up an oil node and I think all in all this area is my favourite out of the stretch of this river here so I was going to choose one location along this river and I think this one wins it for myself. There's also often a red loot drop that spawns on top of that bridge there. I'm pretty sure, and there's also a blue drop there. And again, we're back with an obelisk. This is another area where it's got some beautiful blue water and plenty of flat surface to build on. But one of the reasons I've put this onto the list is it's one of the few areas where T-Rex do spawn 
and I am going to be making a play for the T-Rex on this map in order to defeat the Manticore. Being around them is going to help. Being around the water is also going to help. Being set up at the Blue Obelisk, we're not far from the mountains and resource wise there's plenty of crystal in abundance. No oil, but there is a little bit of metal. I'll just bring up the resource map for the Blue Obelisk and you can see there is plenty of resources to be gathered around here. But main reasons for setting up at Blue would be making a play for the T-Rex, which I say do spawn around the mountains, along with the Uteranus, another dinosaur I want to be taming up on this playthrough. So the Blue Obelisk is going to be my fourth choice in best locations to build on Scorched Earth. And my last location for you is a starting zone, the flat dunes just here is quite an easy place to set up. There is a well right in front of us here and on this cliff face you're relatively sheltered from the sands just on the right hand side. I'll just pull up the map and the coordinates so you can see where this is. I have built here before and you've got an abundance of space to be able to build something really quite big just on these surfaces here. If we pull up the resource map, you'll see just to the west and that red obelisk, there's an abundance of crystal and metal to be gathered. So resource wise, not a bad location to be in. We're also not too far away from the dragon crack. Again, not too bad if you want to go hunting for dragon eggs and there's plenty of space to build here. And there you have it, that's my top five locations for PvE players on the Scorched Earth map. Having recently defeated the Overseer on the island map, we're now going to be ascending to Scorched Earth and I'm going to be starting in one of them five locations. I am going to be putting up a vote on my community page if you want to click on that and take part in to where you think I should actually set up for my PvE run, then let me know. You can also write down in the comments as well if you think I missed anywhere out personally. But yeah, if you want to get involved, then take part in that vote, which is just a click away at the top of my page. You can also let me know down in the comments which is your favourite area to set up on the Scorched Earth map. If you think I've missed anywhere, stick it down below. There's still time to change my mind before we start our run and beat the Manticore. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.